Massimiliano Blardoni. We thought this man had gone away, and then he charged back in Italy after having an abysmal, really two years of skiing, ends up winning there. One of the two races this year that Ted Ligeti didn't win. And this guy is full on aggression. Look at the energy in his legs. He's the one that, that just jumps out of the turn. Oh, that, this is great skiing, just absorbing everything. You can see the podium wide open with Ligeti 700s off, but third place, Cyprien Richard, almost a full second off. Blardoni within that time right now, 5,500s. But here comes that very difficult turn that takes you onto the flat and into the final stretch. And not only the, the gates very far across the hill, it also changes snow conditions. Icy down here when it was soft up top. Handles uh, it nice. He does. So 5-5 five, five becomes 7-5, seven, five, still a chance for the podium. But he still looks fresh, like others just hating it. He's tight on the line and has strength in the legs. Well, the race he won considered the most taxing, so we know Blardona can go the distance. Oh, and he's letting it go now, just riding that fine line through. And he's got it. Finds a little bit of time, but 33 hundredths off. And so that puts him on the podium, but <laughs> everything left on the hill. Yeah, whatever he had left in the tank coming over that steep, he left it on the hill, barely standing up through the finish. Massimiliano Blardoni, three tenths behind Hirscher after the first run, but look at his advantage over Wright, 7800s. And this guy will bring the intensity. I, you remember I talked to head coach of the US ski team, Sasha Rierich, and he said this course set by the Italian for Blardoni. I said, how do you set for one guy like Blardoni? He goes, set it straight and fast. And let his energy try to match up. Still with most of the advantage. And it seems in the last couple of skiers we saw the snow relent oh. and now it's starting to pound and Blardoni with a major error. And he had it going there, didn't see the drop off because of the snow, because of the flat light. There's the mistake and there's the lead, gone. Blardoni has seen victory here, but that was back in 2005. Now, to do it again, needs to find 3,200s, and the hands going every which way to keep it on the road. He is disco sticking down this hill, but just the timing a little bit off. Remember, Reich has such a huge lead at the bottom, and we've seen in the past, this last pitch, you can easily make up 3,700s. Oh. Blardoni on the very limit in that final turn. And the coach maybe said it right. Blardoni with the mistakes, oh! almost gets it back, but 200 shy. And you see the potential. And so Benny Reich assured of a podium.